What up guys? Okay, today I got my HTC One SV right here and this morning at about 9 o'clock I got it updated to Jelly Bean 4.1.2 uh, Came with Sense 4 Plus I'll show you For the skeptics out there 4.1.2 4 Plus HTC Sense version. Alright Now Jelly Bean comes with Google Now and all that other good good stuff so let's take a look around the system let's start at settings a couple things change the settings not a lot so we have our normal toggles for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and stuff and then we have HTC media link that's new and beats audio you can now toggle it on and off when you connect a headset um, right there that's about it in the settings uh, the power, there's a new menu in there for uh, the power, it's called History, and it will show you what radios have been using um, the most, I guess, the most activity throughout the day at what time, so that's pretty nice. Okay, go back. Alright, Google Now, on these HTC One uh, phones, like HTC One SV, you can hold the Home button, and it will bring up Google Now. You have to long press the home button. So now you get cards and stuff. Obviously, I haven't been, ha I haven't had Google Now for like more than a day, so I'm not gonna have that many cards. Um, all I have is the weather. So you have the text to search, and then you have the voice to search. So, how tall is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is six feet one inch tall. So there you go. You can ask it questions like that. You can also ask it mathematical questions. So, how much is five thousand two hundred and thirty divided by one? All right. Well, it didn't do it. How much is five hundred divided by two? The answer is two hundred fifty. Had to think about that, but there you go. And it's nice because when you're in class, I had this um, jelly bean on my S2, Galaxy S2, and I would just pull this guy up and nice calculator for class, but whatever. Okay, so what else is new is, got Google Wallet on here. Your uh, One SV now supports Google Wallet, so you can input all your credit card information and make transactions via NFC, near field communication, which is very nice. What else you have is, let me see here, Google Shopper that came with the update. You also have this app, which I don't really care for. It's called Boost Music. Um, it's a music service by Boost. You can buy ringtones and music from there. Um, I'm not going to be using it, number one, because I get all my music for free, and I get all my ringtones via Zedge, so I don't really need it. Plus, it keeps on crashing. I mean, it's just, I, I don't really like it. All right. Gallery is new. What you got here is, instead of, as they would call, digging, um, you have all your photos from your uh, social media networks or whatever. You can go up to menu, and you can actually add media servers or online source or whatever. So you can add more than these. So say, I guess you have, I don't know, Instagram. I think you can add Instagram on there. So say I want to go to Facebook and I want to show someone a picture, but I don't want to go on my Facebook. So I would just go into contacts, pick my contact, and it would show me all their photos and albums within their Facebook. Say I want to see that album, bada boom, have that album. There's my turtle. Okay. Same with Dropbox, Picasa, Flickr, same thing. Now on my phone, I think it geotags the photos or something and it rearranges them differently but you have my cat my horse painting and my turtle so yeah but that's new uh, camera they sped up the shutter speed on the camera I, I like it so I'm gonna turn off flash there we go now shutter speed is super quick or not it was quick there we go. It's got like a... Okay, well, it was quicker. Um, your settings are now... There's a couple up here that are different. 
So you have your, to switch camera, you have this guy, so you don't have to actually go into settings and choose, you know, like, say that would say like, um, front, like main camera, and then you have to go in here, and then you would have to switch it to front camera. Now all you do is, now let me speak back, is just click that up there. And this is, this option is like slow-mo video, scenes, HDR, panorama, all that good stuff is up there. So, now you have pinch to zoom, and you have all your filters. So, I mean, nothing much really changed in the camera. Oh, um, actually, one thing did, which I kind of hate. Um, let's flip that around. Yes, I'm using my iPod. Do not criticize me. Okay. There's actually like a little, I don't know if you can see it, a little like circle and then a two. You actually have to wait two seconds and then it will take a picture of your front facing camera. So, there you go. I don't like it. It's stupid. I mean, whatever. Um, that's about it, guys. I mean, it's not, my phone ain't stuttering when I open up the app, app drawer. I mean, it, it's running pretty smooth. That's about it. Oh, sorry. I opened up the Play Store and I remembered. Um, I actually went, this is stupid. Let me go to the front one. All right. I opened up my Play Store when I, I made a new Google account, started fresh, um, so I logged in with it, um, and I wanted to update all the apps, because some of them weren't up to date, and I was kind of confused, so I go to my apps, now I updated these manually, but normally there's a lot more by Google on your phone, and you literally, for maps, I had to like actually go up to the search bar, type in maps, and then update it that way like it usually you can just press my apps and it'll show it will show up to date manually update and update automatically and you just press or update all and you can just update all of them it's easy now you actually have to go in and like search for an app and update it it's annoying i don't even know if i'm going to update any of them but yeah that's that's pretty much it Alright guys, thanks. This was um, one of my first YouTube videos for this channel. Um, thanks for watching. Peace. Bye.